Detectives who work on cold cases, it's called the nation's silent mass disaster. More than 40,000 cases of unidentified bodies across the country. More than 2,000 of those are here in Arizona. Detectives with Phoenix Police have teamed up with forensic genealogy researchers to help solve some of those cases. Her body was found in this neighborhood one hot July day in 2017. Her death was uh, heat related. Found in the backyard of a home near 24th Street in Roosevelt, the summer heat had made it impossible to identify her. Detective Stuart Summershoe specializes in cases like this. I, I work in the uh, cold case missing and, and unidentified persons unit. We are trying to identify uh, these people who have lost their identities when they died. For four years, Phoenix police only had these tattoos as clues and not much else to work with. During that time, Detective Summershoe also enlisted the DNA Doe Project to help with the case. The mission of the DNA Doe Project is, return, is to return the names to the nameless. The nonprofit DNA Doe Project uses DNA and forensic genealogy to track down the identity of unidentified people, helping police solve otherwise unsolvable cold cases. And today, Phoenix police used that information to notify the family of Laura Jean Jordan of the passing of their loved one. The family was extremely grateful uh, to find out what happened. They, they had been looking for Laura for all these years. Uh, they hadn't filed a missing person report, but they, they were actively looking for her. They didn't know what happened to her. The DNA Doe Project is a game-changing use of technology and research that promises to allow detectives like Stuart Summershoe the ability to provide closure for families across the country. Well, three other cold cases have been closed in the Valley using the DNA Doe Project, and Valley Police is working with the nonprofit on seven more cases.